Next up is Becca listening in Wichita, Kansas on Bot Radio. Hi, Becca. Um, yes, sir. Uh, thank you for your program and thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. So I have a two-part question based on Matthew 18, 18 through 20. Is it okay to pray for a medical miracle? Well, absolutely. I think that we should pray for medical miracles. But I think more than anything else, we ought to be very wise and append our prayers with what we're instructed to append our prayers with. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. So we're always looking for God's will in the big scheme of things because he sees the big scheme of things. In other words, he sees the panoply of our lives. We see only a snapshot at a time. So we must always pray, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. But do I pray for medical miracles? Yes, I pray for people who I know have very, very serious medical problems, and I pray for those people that there would be a miraculous breakthrough, but always append my prayer, Lord, we want your wisdom, because God in the cauldron of suffering produces something. He has a purpose. Nothing that happens to a believer is gratuitous. Not a hair falls from our head that the Lord does not know about it, nor does not care about it. He cares about every even minute detail of our lives. Okay. Um, thank you for that. And the second part of my question is, if you would um, pray and agree with me for my cousin's healing. What's your cousin's name? Her name is Janice. Lord, we come into your presence. And Lord, we place Janice on your altar of grace. Oh, Lord Jesus, you healed people. You raised people from the dead. You have the power to take up your life and lay it down again. And you rose from the dead, your dear friend Lazarus. Oh, Lord, I pray that you would work out your purposes in the life of Janus for your glory and for the extension of your kingdom. And Lord, I pray that Janus might have peace in the midst of the storm that she is facing. And Lord, bring people and resources around her so that she might come to a true valuation of things and see things from your perspective. And Lord, ease her pain in a difficult circumstance. Lord, thank you that this is not a mere serendipitous moment, but that you ordained even this prayer at this time. And Lord, we leave the circumstances in your hand and pray that we might be your hand, your foot, in the process of bringing peace and grace to those who suffer. Again, not by might, nor by power, but by your Spirit. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.